Runkel said, in not so many words, that we should not punish Amber because it's going to hurt Amber's children. Rather, he said Depp. Depp said he didn't want to punish Amber and hurt her children and that the monetary damages might hurt Amber's child and that Johnny doesn't wish that on the children. Now, I, I look, I would agree that Johnny doesn't wish the children ill. But here's something I want to I want to bring up, and here's my disagreement with Runkel. Um, I don't think we should consider Amber's child for one fucking second. And and I know what people are gonna say. They're gonna be like, Andrew, that's heartless. Andrew, don't think of the children, Andrew. Andrew, you don't have children, you're just out there with these Korean thoughts. You know, and you're you're you don't care about kids, Andrew. No, actually, I like kids. I've worked with children in various jobs in the past, right? I've taught kids. I've taught small kids, older kids, um, and, and I actually really, really enjoy teaching kids. I think it's really fun. I would do it if it actually paid money. But listen, I'm a greedy shyster lawyer. What can I say? But what I'm saying is this. Just like Amber Heard used her allegations, her sexual allegations, as a sword and a shield. As a sword and a shield. Just like Amber used this, she is using her child as a sword and a shield. And too many times we see people doing this. And listen, I'm going to say this and understand it's not all, but we see this very often, especially in with people who are extremely privileged and especially with the single mothers. You see them saying, hey, can't do that. We got to think of the kid. That should not get people out of paying their dues. I'm not saying we put the kid in jail, but I don't think we take it light on Amber Heard because she has a child. I don't think we give her a get out of jail free card. You know why? Here's why. We didn't do the same for Johnny Depp. We did, we did nothing of the sort for Johnny Depp. And if we're going to be fair, if we're going to live in a world where men and women are treated equally, we need to give the lady the same treatment we gave the man. And in this case, Johnny Depp was spared no, she, he got the full wrath. Amber Heard did not waste one second coming after Johnny Depp. She did not give a fuck about Johnny Depp's children, despite what she said in the courtroom. She didn't waste a breath coming after Johnny Depp. So why should we hold back from coming after her? I think she needs to pay the same price. I think she needs to pay the same price. It's equal treatment. It's fair treatment. This is the world we live in. If we want to regress and live in a different world, if we're trying to live in 1920s world where women can't vote and they don't have agency, then that's different. That's a whole different conversation. But if we're living in 2022 where everybody's got the same rights, therefore the same penalties should apply. I don't think she gets a discount on her damages because of this. And the fact that Johnny is even entertaining that, yes, I think it may be a genius move from a PR standpoint, that he is taking the high ground. But to try to say to do it because it's some gender move or anything else like that, I don't think that's a good thing. And I don't think we should say, oh, it's a chivalrous thing to do. No, no. We need to think about fairness, fairness, fairness and outcomes as well. I think that's a big thing about this whole situation. Like the, the facts of this whole case have been, let's treat people fairly. Let's take men seriously. Let's take men's claims seriously. And therefore, we need to feel the same way about punishment. And I know, it's, I know look, I'm not going to convince people to change on this. This is not going to change today. By the way, shout out to Blonde Asian community. 100 here agreeing with this. And I see a lot of you ladies in the chat agreeing with this. So it's not just my toxic misogyny here. Although I'm glad to add that whenever I can. I, I never hold back. By the way, uh, shout out to Midnight's uh, Edge After Dark. Good to see you, brother, in the chat. But uh, but that's my take on it. 
Good to get these super chats here. Koyo Bayo says uh, he would be excluded from SAG dues and royalty. That is a much, much bigger issue. A lot of people don't realize how that works. Write a great hit single people. Yeah. And honestly, I'm not even familiar with all the ins and outs of SAG of the, the Screen Actors Guild. Shit, I'd probably have to go back on Midnight's Edge and ask those guys more about that industry because they know more than I do about that. That's a that's a specific niche. I'm sure Richard Marks, the actual expert on the entertainment industry, the lawyer, remember him from the trial, Richard Marks, who tore apart Catherine Arnold, their shitty expert? I'm sure Richard Marks knows. I'm sure Richard Marks knows. Uh, so good comment. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Mac and Cheese says, as a mom of four, if you take kids into consideration when punishing someone, there is no end to it. Yes, exactly. Exactly. If you say, oh, they have kids, well, then everybody who has kids gets off? And, and let's be real, guys. Let's be real. It's not like guys with kids are getting off. If a guy gets up there and says, I have a kid, they're not letting him off. It's only when the moms get up there, ladies, you know it, only when the ladies get up there and say, think of the children, then the, then the judge, especially, by the way, especially if it's some you know older judge from another generation with different societal expectations, they'll go, oh, my, my, we got to we gotta sip our sweet tea and think of the children. Well, my, my, down here, we, we protect the children. And you end up in a world of unequal results, which we see manifest ourselves in the court system day to day. So thank you with that. Dee Dee says, I agree with you, Andrew, because the child is just a prop to Cruella. She only cares about herself. Exactly. Exactly. The only person she's ever cared about is herself. That child will be used as a piece on her chessboard. She wanted that as an arrow in her quiver to protect herself, to wield as a weapon, because she knows that mother card is strong. It's the, it's the ultimate power of the Karen, right, is the mother card. So that's where I wanted to go on that. That's my end rant on the treatment of men versus women. Um, and, and look, I've been covering this for a while, but I know a lot of you are new to my channel. And, and listen, all we're asking for, and, and when you hear guys talking about this, all we're asking for is for, for the outcomes to be the same. You want treatment at the front to be the same, okay, but treatment at the back. The outcomes need to start being equalized. They're not. They're not even close. 